Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and in this video, I'll be comparing Flutterflow and WeWeb. These platforms enable individuals with little to no programming knowledge to build functional digital products. In this video, I'll explore the similarities and differences between these two platforms, focusing on their features, ease of use, integrations, pricing, and customer support. So, let's get started. Flutterflow is a mobile application building software that caters to both iOS and Android app stores. So it's a no-code tool for building mobile and web applications using the Flutter framework and Dart programming language. Flutter is renowned for its ability to help developers build high-quality native interfaces on cross-platforms in a short time. On the other hand, WeWeb is a platform that allows users to build websites in a user-friendly environment. It is designed to facilitate the process of web development for users who are completely new to code and no code. While both platforms fall under the no-code development category, they cater to different needs. Flutterflow specializes in building mobile applications, making it a suitable option for those looking to develop apps without coding. WeWeb conversely, focuses on website development, which could be more appealing to those interested in creating websites. Both platforms offer a visual interface that allows users to drag elements onto their canvas, simplifying the design process. However, Flutterflow, with its reliance on the Flutter framework, might require a basic understanding of the Dart programming language, while WeWeb appears to be more beginner-friendly. No-code platforms often come with pre-built integrations to streamline the development process. Both Flutterflow and WeWeb offer a variety of integrations, but it's crucial to verify if they support the specific tools you need for your project. Pricing is another critical factor to consider when choosing a no-code platform. Flutterflow offers a range of four plans catered to different needs. Their free plan is available at no cost and can be a good starting point for beginners. The standard plan, priced at $30 per month, is designed for more regular users. The Pro plan, costing $70 per month, is tailored for heavy-duty users who require advanced features. Lastly, they offer a team plan at $70 per month, ideal for collaborative projects or businesses with multiple users. On the other hand, WeWeb also presents four distinct pricing plans. The free plan, as the name suggests, is available at no cost. For users requiring more features, the starter plan is available at $49 per month. The Scale plan, priced at $179 per month, is designed for larger-scale projects or businesses. Lastly, the Enterprise plan is custom-priced, offering bespoke solutions based on individual business needs and requirements. For this, you would need to contact their sales team. It's worth noting that while both platforms offer a free plan, the features available in these plans may be limited. It's important to check what each plan includes before making a decision. When it comes to customer support, both platforms have active communities where users can share experiences, ask questions, and learn from each other. As always, an active community can be a significant advantage when working with no-code tools. So, as you can see, both Flutterflow and WeWeb are robust no-code development platforms, each with its unique strengths. If you're looking to create a mobile application, Flutterflow might be a more suitable choice, given its focus on app development. Conversely, if your project involves building a website, WeWeb could be a better fit due to its emphasis on web development. However, your choice should ultimately depend on your specific needs, budget, and level of comfort with the platform. Therefore, it's advisable to trial both platforms to see which one best suits your requirements. To get started, simply sign up using the links provided in the video description. Thank you for considering this option. I hope you found this video useful and learned something new. If so, please give it a thumbs up to show your appreciation. If you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching and take care.